Hi everybody, this is Rose from Bighorn Library. Summer Fun Reading Program. TD Bank uh, theme is fun this year and we thought we'd have fun with a very old-fashioned uh, product which is chalk. Yesterday for the preschool class we read this book, Chalk, by Bill Thompson. I've talked to you about this book before and it's of a variety that I really love which is books without words so that it's very interactive. The children tell you what happens in the story and this is a very exciting story indeed. Then they all went outside and colored all over the walls of our entrance and our uh, sidewalk with chalk. The older kids came in today and we didn't get around to sharing this book because we had so much fun with our activity but I thought I would tell you about it anyway. Chalk Around the Block by Sharon and David. I'm sorry I can't tell you more than that. Uh, but it's a list of old-fashioned games that you play with chalk out in a playground or on a sidewalk. And uh, most kids don't play this sort of game much anymore. But you know, any kind of activity where an adult is interacting with you, it's really special to kids. So get the, this book or one similar to it and uh, go outside and play a little bit with some chalk. What we did here, which was a tad on the messy side but very fun, was make chalk. This is Plaster of Paris. Add water and add paint and you get sidewalk chalk. This isn't ready for the kids yet. It's still heavy and wet, but it will dry and they'll take it home tomorrow. We've just used tubes which we've cut up for forms and put some tape on the bottom, duct tape, to keep it from leaking out. You need two parts plaster of Paris and one part liquid. In our case is water with tempera paint added to it, whatever colors the kids liked. Um, here's some tips, some things that we learned. Uh, put newspaper down over everything because it's messier than you think it's going to be. Um, also, have lots of, we had all the paint out and let the kids choose paint and mix paint kind of as we went. If I were doing it again, I would get uh, maybe half a dozen colors of paint and water, mix it together and put it in squirt bottles or something so that they could mix and match with the paints but not take so much time doing it. Uh, also, and this is very important, if you're working with Plaster of Paris and you've got containers with Plaster of Paris, don't dump it down the sink. Don't try to clean them in the sink because it'll go down that drain and then it'll do what Plaster of Paris does and get hard and uh, block up your plumbing for you, which would make you very unpopular with um, you know, building maintenance or your husband or whoever might be uh, cleaning pipes for you. So uh, I hope you'll give this a try. It was messy and chaotic, but really, really fun. The kids got a big bang out of it. They got quite fancy towards the end, blending two different shades and colors together. And I expect when they take these home and do art with them themselves, they're going to feel a real sense of accomplishment. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye for now.